volleyball teams in the midst of their season. The NAU women's volleyball team is finally back home. Sports reporter Kaylee Emery is live out at Roll Activity Center before the game to tell us more. Kaylee, what's going on? That's right, Austin. I'm out here live at the Roll Activity Center where the NAU women's volleyball team is getting ready to take on conference rival Idaho. Now, the women have been on the road for quite some time now, just about a month as they started conference play last weekend, taking on Portland State, beating the Vikings 3-1, to and then losing to Sac State 3-1. to Join with me now is head coach Ken Murphy. Thanks for joining me, coach. Now, 12 road games. How does it feel to finally be back at home? You know, especially for our girls, it feels great. You know, I think it's such a challenge being on the road, especially in this conference. We play in such difficult environments. We're looking forward to being in an environment that favors us a little bit, makes it difficult for our opponent. Now, I'm sure being back at home is so great, but Idaho is a little bit of a tougher team. What's the strategy for the girls and for the team going into this game? You know, I, I, for us, it's always about putting pressure on an opponent, trying to make them do some things that they don't want to do. And you're, you're right, Idaho is very good. They're very, they have good size. They're very physical. They're very strong. And I think we have to take some things away from them to be successful. So we have a big challenge ahead of us. All right, Coach, thanks for joining me. And we're definitely going to be hoping for a win from the Lady Jacks this evening. Again, I'm out here live at the Roll Activity Center as game time starts at 7 o'clock. Live here with NAZ Today, I'm Kaylee Emery. Well, thank you, Kaylee, and thank you, Coach Murphy, for joining us. We'll just have to wait to see if any of you can get the win against Idaho tonight. Well, high school volleyball seems to be the trend lately, so let's just keep it going. Flagstaff took on Arcadia yesterday and came away with a three sets to one victory. They dropped the first set, but bounced back in the next three behind the strong play of senior outside hitter Courtney LaFell, who led the Eagles with 26 kills. Flagstaff's next match will be a neutral tournament match against Parkland on October, October 2nd. And NPA was not in action yesterday, but they do play today. This match began at 6, where NPA had to travel on the road to surprise to face Shadow Ridge. My players to highlight in this one are Megan Netherton and Mikhail Barnes. If these two put together strong performances, I expect NPA to pull out with a W. And since it's football season, it's time to highlight my games to watch for. After a devastating homecoming loss on fourth and goal last week against Payson, the Eagles need to rebound on the road against the Vista Grande Spartans. Tomorrow night, and they need to find their groove. My second game to look for this weekend is Coconino football. Last week, the Panthers were firing on all cylinders offensively, exploding for 55 points against Goldwater. They're going to need that offensive explosion as they face Prescott tomorrow night at 7. And finally, NAU football is back at the Sky Dome Saturday at 4 against the Montana State Bobcats. After losing the University of Arizona and Montana, the Jacks desperately need to find a way to get back in the win column. And they need to do so with the arm of Case Cookus and the legs of Casey Yon. Run the ball with Casey in order to set up that play action for Case to hook up with sophomore receiver Emmanuel Butler. If the Jacks can do this, I don't see any problem with them getting the W in front of all these family weekend fans. 